as a board, you're managing essentially a public asset. Governments, be they provincial, municipal, federal, uh, have entrusted you with some public dollars to provide a public good. So uh, you're the stewards of that public good. Governance is three things. One is uh, there's a fiduciary duty. You have an asset you have to manage. That is your primary role. Two, you have to have a planning horizon for that asset. So you have a duty to look at that asset and say, how are we going to get to where we need to be to ensure that your asset continues to do what it should do. And three, leverage that asset creatively to, to do value added with that asset. When boards gain proficiency in all three of these areas, they practice governance as leadership. In other words, they think and govern like leaders and not managers. I think sometimes we have a habit of um, not wanting to share bad news and often we see risk as, as a bad news story and we're responsible. Uh, I look at it a little bit um, differently. Your ability to be outward looking and capable of responding to community need depends on your board's ability to be generative. Never stop believing that that ragtag group that you've fallen in with can make all the difference. Successful boards do not exist in isolation. They are good connectors and they reach out to their tenants, community members, staff and other services. They are externally focused, committed to partnerships and collective action. You received a resource kit with this video. Open it up. Look through it and use it. It provides you with focused exercises, tools and resources that will strengthen your board's work. If you do the exercises and make use of the resources, your board will be much more successful. And there is nothing like success. It is so rewarding and you can do it. I, it's the best thing, feeling in the world.